Morning everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going again on different flea markets. Not so many as I like hit the last uh, vlogging series of me. Like um, today it's like I planned three and tomorrow one. So let's see if we have any luck or not. So just follow me around. And again, lots of Barbie stuff. Isn't that the bike from the gymnastic Barbie? I guess. Amazing! I found another like I already got this from 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 Zinia, but I found another Polly Pocket. It's one of the Disney ones. This is probably um, a vintage LPS, like 100%. It says Kenner, so it's. I don't know what this actually. It's it's a Tamagotchi kinda. I don't know if it's worth something. It's it's called Hitoriko, and I have no idea what this is. But this is kind of cool with a baby inside. Actually, never seen it, but it says 1994, so it's right up my alley. And there's a whole other tub over there, so I might just dig into it again. So I hope no one snacks it. Just leave it there. Because here's also like a pony. It's a fakey pony, and I suppose it was doing some sounds, um, but it's not worth something, and it doesn't like look cute enough for me. It's a vintage um, fakey, but not not so much my stuff. Here's another small doll, which I don't know, but it again says Mattel. But it says Mattel, 19. 76. So what is she? 76? I mean, I, it might still be kind of Barbie, but it's not a Shelly or Kelly. There's so much small things at the bottom. What's that? Um, it also looks like LPS, maybe? Let's just put it, or is it from this one? I don't know. Let's just have a look. <gasps> Here's a pony! Oh my goodness, it's a Generation 1 pony! Like. Glad I got that on camera. Uh, it seems she has quite good stuff, but seems her prices are a little bit higher. But if it's good stuff, then I'm also willing to pay a little bit more. Like what else? Hi. That's from my birth year, but I have no clue what it is. Let's just put it over here. Just that kind of matches. Green Army Man. Some box. <laughs> Probably. But I mean, this would be cool for my Toy Story collection, wouldn't they? Like, let's snack them, maybe. There's so much small stuff. 
Sometimes you also just need to know what it is because I know that some toy lines also release accessories for the kids. Aren't these those calico critters from um, Australian families? I'm pretty sure a lot of people are also collecting these. So if you're interested, come here. <laughs> it's just not the stuff I collect. Oh, this is from Flintstones. Might be a McDonald's or something. And it even looks like it's from the movie. It's from the live action movie. Uh, I know someone, but she's in Australia. She might be interested. Okay, hand puppets. Porcelain dolls. That's not my stuff. Be careful. No idea. Relation to cherry Mary muffin. I don't know, maybe because I know the cherry Mary muffin also had like play sets, but this is like too obscure for me to really get, so I put it back. This is I don't know. It sparks something. It sparks some memory as if I had it, and I actually would like to. Um, put hair in this one so that might be just a custom this looks could be vintage LPS this definitely is something I just don't know what for the baby this is neat and it says 88 but I have like no clue what it is so it doesn't make sense to me these would just be if I I don't know they're just like the little green army man from Toy Story and I would just decorate them and this Tamagotchi. Let's ask her. A magical girl one, like from any kind of anime, or is it just a I don't know cheap knockoff? I have no clue about this. Looks beautiful, but it doesn't say anything.
also um, crust free ago. Oh, that's the Schleicher. <laughs> Turtle splashy, that's cute. Hey, Carlo Panga. Oh no, Mario is missing his head. like no idea of Power Rangers and I was never into it but it says 1993 so these are original old Bandai Power Rangers and they kind of are so cheaply made I thought like I don't know if I would have liked them but it's two of them I won't get them obviously but also a 3DS but it's really cool to also see original like vintage boys toys here so these are legitimate old power rangers that's cool like i'm not sure if this is a um, ever after high but it might be and one of my friends is collecting Ever After High. I mean, she is currently not, but then I keep her. It was just five euro. If she is, then that was probably a good price for an Ever After High doll. Okay, here are also always a lot of toys, um, but it's uh, all fakies and stuff I don't know. So um, again, if you are a fakie collector, you will find lots. And this one is cute. I have no idea if this is um, probably not as old. And there's a lot of these strange looking dinosaurs. anyone know what they are? Because they look cute. Maybe it's also just some kind of, I don't know, no really, not, not really a, a toy line or anything. They have no markings. Oh, well, he has quite a lot of them. So. <laughs> and I I think they were already here last time. So if you know what they are, tell me. <laughs> and as always, fillies. Um, fillies and fillies and fillies. Okay. Another fakey. Jane from Tarzan. Then you find a lot of McDonald's toys. So, and I guess there are also collectors from McDonald's toys. What's that? <laughs> okay, Hot Wheels. So, Retro Gamers, this is for you. <laughs> An NES with controller, the Sega Master System, two of the Super Boys, and lots of NES titles, uh, SNES I mean. I'm not that knowledgeable, but I like to watch other retro gamers on YouTube. Oh, I have this, I still have it at home, so... Okay, yes, also N64. Okay, lots of racing titles. Army Man stage something. Okay. 
Lots of different Tetris, Tetris too. Asterix. And here's a game gear. I never saw one. It's like 30 euro. I guess that's fine. If it works. What is that? That's also oh, that's for the master system probably. Here's some game gear titles. I have no idea what they are. And other like Sega Sega Master System. And some PlayStation titles as well. That's <laughs> a puzzler, okay. Mega Drive Boxy. Terminator 2, okay. So I guess this is something cool if you really are like a retro retro gamer. I have this one. It's either from Burger King or McDonald's. So, a lot of Smurfs, but probably no ponies. Because I can again just see a fakey, so... Oh my goodness, how many Smurfs are there? And stuff like Disney stuff also, like Chicken Little. And... More here. Oh, still on cart. Hunchback of Notre Dame drinking bottle. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, also some carded stuff, so which I have no idea of. Medieval knights. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is a pattern construction. Oh my goodness, for Star Trek. Like a vintage pattern construction for a Star Trek costume. That's really unique. It's not stuff that you find every day. Oh, cool. Drinking bottles from Solo, probably from from the theater. Star Wars, I don't know, kind of pins for textiles. This is ridiculous. Like episode one, pot racer, something. It's like a handheld but mechanic game. Um. Funny. This is really funny. Okay, Warcraft stuff. I have no idea of that. Disney. And Smurf glasses over there. When I was young, I used to really like the Smurfs. I collected them, but not in this huge form. I collected them about like, I don't know, three centi... No, what is it? Five centimeters? Some Star Wars Hot Wheels. I guess nothing that I want. Hey, second flea market done. And I found stuff, yes. I found some uh, Generation 4 pony stuff. And um, yes, it's always something. And I think I got a lot of uh, footage of some other like fakies and smaller toys. Um, now I'm just heading to the last one. And I mean, uh, generally today, I wasn't um, on my way so early, so I'm taking it a little bit slower than the last time. And maybe afterwards, just um, after the last flea market, maybe I'm meeting up with um, Kiki and Michi, but this won't then be part of the vlog because this is just like sitting in a cafe or something. <laughs> okay, see you at the next one.
Shady Flurry Heart. That's a good one. Mostly Playmobil, I guess. This is also something that you find like everywhere, Playmobil. Really nice wings. Um, and I guess this is an original like vintage transformer. It says uh, 1989. So I don't know when generation one transformers were out, but this seems to be like a generation probably a generation one transformer. Nice to find vintage. So 1993 and uh, 1989 vintage transformer. Don't know which generation, might also be generation 2, but might also be G1 transformer. No idea. What are you? Uh, no idea. Sorry. Oh, this is like newer Polly Pocket stuff. It's too big. Way too big, in my opinion. Polly needs to be small. Hmm. So, I guess nothing for me beside this little flurry heart. But let's uh, dig in these. Masses here. Oh my goodness, so much, but Dancing butterflies. 
and although she's super super like dirty I think she might be an update for mine because she doesn't have like as much cut hair as mine has it's actually the same place that I found the keeper's horse last time and yeah and I also took this little um, elephant dude fakie because I, I, I never had one of those um, fakey pony friends so you can still find generation one ponies and I can't be happier she was five and then together we made it like seven or something so that's way below what you would pay for her on, on eBay or wherever so super happy dancing butterflies I guess that wasn't all that much footage that I took but uh, the rest of the flea market was um, yeah there were some um, comics and I got a comic again like Star Wars comic a brand new one for a very good price so couldn't resist that and uh, the toys were the same um, as last time so and uh, just the same people so nothing that I hadn't seen previously um, still a very good flea market getting getting a generation one pony uh, even a big one yeah not just a small one uh, like an adult one dancing butterflies and a small flurry heart and the comic so I can't complain I like this flea market um, yeah what time is it I'm gonna ask my friends where they are and then maybe we just meet up explanation <laughs> to where I am right now um, my friends they are not ready yet so we're meeting up a little bit later and I was searching for another flea market and I'm trying to find it now because it's a little bit tricky here at the um, museum aisle so let's see if I can find it Okay, again something for the retro gamers, but like the titles are what you would expect, all that sports stuff, but <laughs> not that interesting. And some more game gear, Woody Pop. It's like a mega drive. Tengen. But really nothing interesting. I mean not even not even a little bit interesting. So the box ones are like better. I think got the Zelda. I mean it's 3DS so it's not really old old. But here are some of the better titles, another Zelda one. Of course, Pokemon stuff like that. So. And a Sega Rumble 3 for 6 euro box. Like, but apart from that, there's like nothing interesting here. It's a really small one. And. Not a single one with toys, just DVDs, books, not even comics, so. so at least I know that this one is not worth coming again. And yeah, I guess now it's kind of time to uh, head to the meeting point. <laughs>
Like this is really, oh, I guess I can take it off. This is really like the super center of Berlin and like all the museums and uh, I know here is one, this is like the one at the Bode Museum, which is, as I said, not worth coming. And I know there is another one, which is also just called art and something, something, some more antique art and antiques. Um, but this is at the other side. Probably not really worth coming again. But at least I know that now. <laughs> everyone so it's the next day it's Sunday and it's really really early um, sometimes I think it's actually not worth going to the flea market this early but today it's another case because uh, I want to go to the flea market before um, we have our breakfast date like with my friends because um, at 10 o'clock we um, we have been a breakfast reservation and I I can't go afterwards because then it's way too late so I need to go before so I hope they um, they are already there at the flea market I mean it says they are starting at 6 or 7 or something so it might be okay because right now it's 7 so that I'm I don't know at the flea market in half an hour or something let's hope there are already people there and that I can uh, catch my breakfast reservation then afterwards see you like an all, all toys stand, so she the Playmobil some dinosaurs but sadly no Jurassic Park ones so ooh she's squishy really film much of anything because as you see it is raining and um, most of the people have their, their all their stuff like covered like protecting from the rain so you can't really see what's there and then you really can't film anything because you just see the rain covers so it doesn't make sense I just found some LPS and some generation 4 ponies so that's not the worst count but um, and I think I will go where I found some dinosaurs which were like my childhood dinosaurs maybe I'm gonna snack on that but 
Um, also today it's like just half of what usually like how many people are usually here. It's really empty. Probably because of the weather, so can't blame anyone for staying at home while it's like shitty weather. But let's see. There you can see some of my childhood dinosaurs. Like this Parasaurolophus, I still have. That was my Rosy, I called her Rosy. I still have that one. But I'm pretty sure that I also had this Pepicephalosaurus. Um, not sure about this Iguanodon. Maybe? Can't remember. And this uh, Stegosaurus also looks very cool. This one's quite too big for my shelf, but um, definitely taking the Pepicephalosaurus because that was one I had as a child. Okay, so as the flea market was not that successful, at least we're now at our breakfast table. And so that was it for the flea market weekend. So we're gonna hopefully put the haul in the end. And um, now just enjoy the breakfast and that's all. Uh, as I said, I'm going to do the haul now. Stop! Editing now here. Well, the uh, haul footage is actually way too long to include it in this uh, vlog here. So I have to make it a separate video, which will be directly the next upload. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this um, vlogging style uh, flea market adventure again. Uh, if you did, then please like this video because this really helps me um, to know that you like it and that really makes me like because that really then gives me the courage to continue making videos and uh, if you have to say anything like for example you saw something that I didn't pick up at you you're like why didn't you pick that up for example that cherry merry muffin playset thing which I know is cherry merry muffin now why anyways please comment down below and if you like these kind of videos and you're not subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button and um, yeah, see you in the next video. See you real soon. May the force be with you. Uh, here's just a very small sneak peek of what I bought. So, <laughs> bye bye.